guys what's up it's your girl stephanie also lovely back again with another video and today's video is a long awaited video you guys have been bugging me like crazy on my weight loss instagram to do this type of video um and this video is going to be for you guys that follow me for my weight loss journey you guys that have been asking questions about why you should or shouldn't get weight loss surgery i'm going to be breaking down the five things you should consider before considering weight loss surgery or considering having weight loss surgery whether it be gastric bypass the full shebang or just a sleeve or a band um, whatever type of weight loss surgery you're contemplating these five things will definitely help you towards your de final decision on whether you should or should not have um, weight loss surgery so without further ado you guys already know the drill make sure you do subscribe right down below it's free it's easy and you can stay up to date with everything that i post on this channel and if you're gonna subscribe make sure you also hit that notification bell so you can be the first one to know when i'm uploading a new video so without further ado let's get right into it okay so the first and one of the most important things you want to try to ask yourself is why you're having the surgery a lot of people honestly have told me that they just want to lose weight if you haven't tried losing weight the natural way if you haven't tried just dieting or exercising you should definitely ask yourself am i doing everything that i can to lose weight before considering weight loss surgery because weight loss surgery once you have it it's a whole nother ball game. You're not gonna be the same. Um, and it's not just an easy fix where you could just be like, okay, I had the surgery, so now I can eat what I wanna eat and not gain any weight. That is a myth that is completely false. It's a lie, guys. If you guys follow that, you will fail with this weight loss surgery. You don't wanna just go under the knife for nothing. So that's number one. Now for me personally, my doctor recommended that I have weight loss surgery. Um, and that was because of the amount of weight that I gained in short a short period of time, as well as the family history that I had in relation to obesity and things such as cancer and diabetes and things like that. Um, you definitely do wanna consult your doctor. Do not consult somebody that's had weight loss surgery to tell you if you should or should not have weight loss surgery. I get a lot of DMs in my Instagram, on my Instagram page asking like, why or why shouldn't I have weight loss surgery? And it's really, guys, it's really, it's up to you whether you decide to do it, but it's also something that you definitely want your doctor's advice on. Your doctor may put you on medication before considering a weight loss surgery, or they might not even think that you need weight loss surgery if you haven't done anything, like had a personal trainer, you haven't tried Adapex, which is a weight loss um, drug that you could take. Um, if you haven't dieted or you haven't seen a nutritionist, um, they might suggest that you do those things before having weight loss surgery. Now, my BMI, um, I started my journey off at 360 pounds. My BMI was way above what it should have been for my age and my height. Um, so my doctor definitely recommended that I see a bariatric surgeon because it was already documented that I've tried Adapex. I've had nutritionist visits. I've you know, I've seen a lot of people done a lot of things in order to try to lose weight and maintain it off and I have failed at it. Um, so that's number one, ask yourself why you're having the surgery. Number two, if you are considering weight loss surgery, you need to have that um, drive in order to succeed after surgery. So you need to be willing to change your diet. Um, I'm gonna focus on dieting for this number two because your diet is very important. Before weight loss surgery, they make you go on this very, very, very strict diet. And it's not just for to clean out your system. It's really to see how um, consistent you're gonna be. Honestly, after surgery, you don't and you can't eat what you used to eat. Like there are certain things that I've tried to eat after surgery that just make me sick. Um, I can't eat a lot of ice cream. Literally, I get sick and you're not going to want that feeling over and over again. It's not going to be worth it. So you have to have in your head that I am ready for this change emotionally, physically. I'm ready to diet. I am ready to change my eating habits. You can't just, again, like I said in the first, in the first one, you can't just think that this weight loss surgery is going to work for itself. It's not. You have to put in the effort and the time and the energy with it. The third thing that you want to ask yourself before considering weight loss surgery is the change in your emotions. I had a video posted about depression after weight loss. Guys, depression after weight loss is real. Like you could not have depression at all before weight loss surgery and after weight loss surgery, 
you would have depression. It's it's something that's very, very common. And the reason why it's so common is because your body and your hormones are going through so many changes. Not only that, but your body, your physical body is going through changes that you would think would be progressive, be good, but then you have to um, live with things such as extra skin. And um, you have to consider, am I ready to have extra skin and not really still be confident in my body. Lots of people in the weight loss community that complain about still not feeling beautiful in the mirror. They've lost all this weight and they still don't feel beautiful because they have that extra skin. That's something that goes along with weight loss, rapid weight loss at that. Um, I had a lot of extra skin on my midsection that I did get removed with plastic surgery, but not everybody can afford plastic surgery after um, weight loss surgery. Um, and not every... Um, insurance company is going to cover it just because you had weight loss surgery. I still have extra skin. I can show you guys I have a lot of extra skin on my arms. Um, not so much anywhere else besides like the innards of my thigh, which you can't really tell unless I'm like wearing a swimsuit. Um, but you can definitely obviously tell on my arms like this is not this is skin. Like my arm should be like this and it doesn't. It hangs. So you have to really be mentally prepared for your body changes after weight loss surgery. It's not going to make you um, slim and trim. It's going to help you lose the weight, but you're also going to have residuals from losing that weight. What can you do to alleviate extra skin? There's not really much you can do. Um, you can work out all you want to and you still will have the extra skin it's it's inevitable that you're going to have extra skin it does depend slightly on the elasticity of your skin in general but overall expect extra skin if you're not willing to accept extra skin and still feel beautiful with that extra skin you may not want to do a weight loss surgery you may want to try a different approach number four thing that you should consider before having weight loss surgery do i have the support from other people that i can depend on after surgery now guys i i also mentioned this in my um plastic surgery experience i luckily live with my sister and my mother and I was able to have someone here with me 24 seven just in case I needed something. Weight loss surgery, plastic surgery, any type of surgery, you can't really do it on your own. You can't, you're not gonna be able to drive for a while. You're not supposed to drive yourself. So you have to really have that support system. And I know that everybody is not gonna support you in your decision to have weight loss surgery. Guys, I can't tell you how many people were like, you should just do it the natural way. I don't understand why you're having weight loss surgery. Are you sure this is what you wanna do? People second guess my decision to have weight loss surgery all the time before I had it. And after it, they're like, wow, you look really great. Like they'll compliment you up the butt, but before they weren't complimenting you and they really weren't there for you because they didn't agree with your decision. Um, there's people like that out there. If your family is like, why are you having surgery? You're just lazy. There's people out there like that. So you definitely want to have a support system. And that's partially why I started, um, my weight loss Instagram, oh so lovely gets fit. If you're not following, please go follow that. I'll leave the link down below as well. Um, that's partially why I um, started that page is because I wanted a support system, not just of my own support like family, but you want to have support of other people that know what you're going through. Now, there are such things as weight loss support groups. I've never gone to a weight loss support group. Um, I don't really feel like I need to go to a weight loss support group. I think it may be helpful or beneficial for somebody that doesn't have the um, foundation that I have as far as my family supporting me, my friends being behind me. Um, it will definitely be beneficial for you to go to a weight loss um support group. They do have those where you can talk to a doctor, you can talk to other people that are maybe experiencing some issues that you are um, and just have that support around you where you can call up somebody and be like, girl, I'm having this issue. I can't eat this. I'm so frustrated. And you guys can just talk it through together. That's always a good thing. And I think for me, my Instagram is almost like that because at the very beginning stages after my surgery, I had already been following people that have had the surgery for maybe less than a year or all the way up to like five years. And I DM them and said, you know, hey, I just had weight loss surgery. You know, this is happening. Is this normal? Like 
I get DMs like that all the time where people are asking me, hey, you know, I just had weight loss surgery. I can't eat. Is this normal? Guys, it's it's okay to ask people that have had the surgery these questions, but ultimately this is a question for your doctor because your doctor is going to know your body. Each individual person is different. We all go through different changes in our bodies at different times. It takes longer to um, recover more than others. So guys, it's it's okay to ask these questions and I appreciate you guys coming to me and trusting me. At the same time, guys, I'm not an expert. So I do always normally say, you know, this is what my experience was, but if you're having issues or if you feel like this isn't normal, talk to your doctor. That's what they're there for. You paid them a lot of money or your insurance company paid these people a lot of money for them to be there for you. Like right now, I'm about to be four years out post-op for my gastric bypass um, surgery and I'm still following up with my bariatric surgeon every year. So it's not like just because you have weight loss surgery, you stop seeing your bariatric surgeon. They're there to support you. They're there to help you maintain your weight loss. And luckily for me, I've been able to maintain my weight loss for at least, you know, three and a half years. So I'm almost four years out, which some people honestly do not. They fail within the first year. Once you get over that first year to two year mark and you're still maintaining your weight loss, it, you're good to go. Um, but there are people that do struggle after weight loss and they end up gaining plus more. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you have that support system, whether it be your family or whether it be a weight loss um, support group that you want to attend. The last thing that you want to consider when it comes to weight loss surgery are the complications that go along with weight loss surgery. Weight loss surgery, along with any other surgery that you have, always has the risk of complications. Guys, I'm going through something right now where I told you guys on my social media that I would be telling you guys a little bit about what I'm going through, but um, I still suffer from onset um, abdominal pain. Um, I still throw up when I eat certain foods. There's still certain foods that I just can't tolerate at all. Um, I get full quickly. There's some days I get full quickly. There's some days where I could eat a full meal and I'm like, whoa, what happened? Um, I shouldn't be able to eat this much. Anything can happen after weight loss surgery. You're not, your body isn't a normal anatomy anymore. Your body has been cut. It's been cut open. Um, there's been organs that have changed and been cut, you know, so you have to expect, not expect, but you should be aware that there are changes that can cause other issues. So after weight loss surgery, I ended up being anemic. That's because, you know, you don't absorb nutrients like you used to with a normal body. So you have to make sure you're taking your vitamins. You have to be good on taking vitamins or you will become severely anemic. Um, so now I'm on iron pills. So it's a lot. You really have to make sure that you're mentally, emotionally, and physically ready for surgery. And these five things that I said are not all the things that you need to emotionally prepare for or that you should consider before having weight loss surgery. But these are the five main things that I normally tell you guys when you guys DM me and ask me why I had surgery. These are the five things that I personally considered before surgery. And if I didn't consider it, that I would have considered um, before having weight loss surgery. Now, I get a lot of questions about, do I regret it? Would I change anything? I would not change a thing. Even with my complication after having weight loss surgery, where I had to go back into the hospital, had a pick line, where they were feeding me through a tube for a couple of weeks, I would do it all over again. And it sounds crazy, but guys, I honestly would do it all over again because it was so worth it to me. I don't care what anybody said or what anybody says to you. If you feel that this will be life-changing to you, do it. Don't be scared. Honestly, like once you go over the, oh, under the knife once, it's so easy to go over it, under it again. Like once I had my weight loss surgery, I was not scared at all to have plastic surgery. Like I would go under the knife again in a heartbeat if I needed to and not be afraid. Like you really have to live with no fear with this. You can't go in wanting weight loss surgery and be scared to go under the knife. Like that does not make sense because 
you need to go under the knife to have the surgery. You can't live with fear with this surgery. I may fail. I'm not the perfect weight loss candidate, honestly. I don't exercise like I should. You know, I try to go to the gym at least three times a week. I don't always get there. I don't always eat the best of foods. I still eat junk food every now and then. Um, I pay for it most of the time because my stomach either starts hurting or I throw it up. But I would not change it for the world, guys. My experience, honestly, I'm glad that I went through everything that I went through because I'm able to share more with you guys because I wasn't the perfect candidate for weight loss surgery. I did have complications after weight loss surgery. I'm still going through issues with weight balance. You know what I'm saying? So you need to just, honestly, if you're considering it, consider it fully, but also ask yourself those questions before considering weight loss surgery. Just don't do it because you see somebody on social media that was 400 pounds and now they look like a supermodel. Don't do that. Like, guys, you don't know their story. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know if they had complications or what their family history is like in order to have weight loss surgery. Some of these people have weight loss surgery, honestly, to save their lives. And their doctor told them, like, you need to have weight loss surgery or you won't survive. There's people like that out there. So just don't do it because you see social media and you want this perfect body. You want a Beyonce body. Come on now. Everybody is different. Everybody's not going to get that Beyonce body. Maybe you will get the Beyonce body. Who knows? But don't don't just have the surgery because of so that. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I hope that you guys learned something or you jotted something down that you may have not considered in the past when considering weight loss or if you're already on your weight loss journey. Just something to be mindful of as you go through your journey. Again, it's not going to be a perfect process. We are all human. We all make mistakes. We all fail. But the most important thing is to get back up when you fall. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please do give this a thumbs up and give a comment down below if you're through your journey or if you're considering it. What are your pros and cons for it? Um, if you have any questions, you can also leave that down below. I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. But again, use your doctor as your resource. That is why they're there. That is why we have insurance in this country. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.